Can we detect if text is generated by AI? I gave a talk last night at the London School of Economics. Someone asked me this question. There were lots of tools claiming that they can detect if something is AI generated. Here are the few we're gonna be testing. So I'm using Raycast here. I'll just generate something about clouds in 100 words. And this is using Claude 3.7, nine, oh, probably 10 word prompt. Does, does Grammarly detect it? And it says 0% of this text appears to be AI generated. That's pretty poor. I wonder if I'm blocking anything here. Let's just turn off my blocker. So just pasted in something and yeah, 0% of this text appears to be AI generated when this is Grammarly is immediately failing, Claude 3.7. So let's just discard this. Grammarly does not work. Scribber, I've just put the same thing in. Scribber detected it. Great. Let's see if there are any others. Zero G GPT, let's just see the detect text. That's also passed so far. And plagiarism to check for AI. So we've dropped in this basically, uh, is it just not working? Yeah, so type in this what Zapier call a basically perfect plagiarism check and it says it's 0% AI generated. Yeah, so let's get rid of plagiarism check is rubbish. It's failed our first test. Scribber is still in the running. GPT is zero. Let's, this is something I was trying earlier. Let's try this again. Scan. Cool, that's detected AI. And zero GPT is also, yeah. So we've got these three still in the running. Let, now let's just add a tiny little bit of extra prompting. So here's an article I wrote about winning product hunt on, on product of the week. So I just copied and pasted this as my style, which I wrote, and then pasted it in here. Here's my style, introduction, this is for founders, this post, da 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 I just pasted a very small chunk of that. So there's the text. Uh, I'll just put this into Claude actually, just copy and paste it. Cool, got a little chunk here. Let's copy this, try the phalanx again. So I think GPT zero, let's check it with that. Yeah, it passes, that's good. AI generator scribber, tech AI again, passes again. And zero GPT, next is human written. Okay, so zero GPT now fails with that tiny additional change. Well, let's try with 4.5, the new open AI model, which I don't think is that great. I think it's quite weak, but it's meant to be good in terms of it kind of nuanced. Let's try that out. Scan. Yeah, it's human already. So failure. Okay, semi failure, 55%. Yeah, so maybe we can knock out GPT zero. So let's just do one more test. So here's right the start of a thrilling story in the style of Ian M. Banks, make it highly creative. Thoroughly recommend Ian M. Banks as an author, one of my favorites, at writes a lot about super intelligent AIs. So write the start of a thrilling story in the style. So I'm just prompting it explicitly on a style of an author whose work it's almost certainly read. I get looks a very interesting story. I, uh, I was sad that the Ian M. Banks died when he was 50 or so due to cancer. You could generate more more text in the in the writer's style. But anyway, let's just copy this in as to, to demonstrate my point. And now we paste this in to try, this has already failed, GPT-0. Let's see now. Yeah, it's completely failed, 0% human. Now we try Scribber, the, our last remaining test. 0% AI. As you can see, they just all fail. And with the tiniest bit of prompting, being two main reasons why AI, AI detectors can't work. Number one, the LLM is trained on so much data, I think particularly in the reasoning models, they become so nuanced, so have such an understanding of styles that you can modify them just a tiny bit, as I've shown, to make them so indistinguishable from a human. And then the second point, this is only text. So the, the amount of information in text is actually very low. This is, I like talking about the very low information density of text and why things like video at the opposite end or in person as, even, as the extreme. OpenAI had, had a system here with structural watermark, but then you could just copy that and paste that into another element and say, re rephrase this, re rewrite this, and you would uh, completely remove any of that structural watermark. In contrast with AI videos and with AI images, you could watermark quite easily because there's so much information in there and you can hide little bits of that's a little sound or a little some pixels and Google do this with their imagine image model and diffusion model and so fundamentally you can't hide things in LLM output I'm making loads of content about AI and software follow if you'd like to see more